This is a crisis. If we were on a plane, I think the pilot's control panel would have several alarms going off. Siberia, USA, Turkey and Greece and Italy and Portugal in recent years. Huge areas just going up in flames, everything being reduced to ash. Scene after scene of hillsides ablaze. Wildfires are, in one sense, very, very simple. It just needs a spark in dry conditions to set them off. But in another sense, they're also very complex because the extent to which they spread depends very much on conditions in the ecosystem. How much moisture is there in the ground, in the air? How long has it been since there was last rainfall? What kind of trees there are? How dense is the biodiversity? Fires tend to burn faster when they're in a plantation and there's just one type of tree. There isn't much undergrowth and moss and things like that that can absorb water. You get what scientists are always describing as tinderbox-like conditions where it doesn't take much to start the fire. And then once the fire is started, it spreads very, very quickly. They can be set off by lightning strikes, by barbecues, drop cigarettes, or by farmers who use fire to clear land and then lose control. Wildfires have always existed and they are natural and they do play a process in forest management. But when you've just got plantations or when everything has been dried out, wildfires can spread over enormous distances very, very quickly. The meshing together of lots of different plants and mosses and animals and streams and all of these things that create an ecosystem are actually very strong and resilient when they're together. When you strip that all away, if you just take out all of the biodiversity, you're making the forest more vulnerable. Once a fire's got hold of a monoculture, if it's burnt a stretch of five trees, the chances are it can burn 5,000 trees because they're all planted in lines at, at roughly the same distance. Counterintuitively, there are actually fewer wildfires than there were in the past. But what's happening is that there's a different type of wildfire now. We're seeing fewer fires, but more intense ones because fires are spreading to areas where there's more fuel, more trees. And when trees burn, obviously much more carbon is being released and they burn much longer and much harder. We've already had more than one degree Celsius warming since the industrial era as a result of human emissions like exhaust fumes, industrial releases from chimneys and deforestation. And all of these gases are being released into the atmosphere. That's kind of cloaking the planet. And then everything below it heats up. We're seeing the water cycle change and we're seeing the land dry out more frequently and protracted periods of high temperatures. A kind of a, a reinforcing climate feedback mechanism because as more fires burn more fuel they release more carbon into the atmosphere which means more global heating which means more fires. We're going to have to think more about natural defenses because plantations and monocultures are much more vulnerable to fire so we need to think how we plant things so that nature has a chance of defending itself. At the same time, the, the best and biggest thing we can do is reduce carbon emissions as quickly as possible. At the very least, that buys more time to look for solutions and spreads out the impact. It's very clear that fires are getting worse because of climate change. We're in an emergency, and if we don't treat it as an emergency, it's going to get worse. We need to do much more about it much more quickly.